The problem with the current public interest defence is that it's not sufficiently straightforward and user-friendly and it's therefore difficult to predict the outcome. Under the current system of libel laws, there is pr no serviceable public interest defence. There is nothing that is available to bloggers, jobbing scientists, individual authors, human rights activists. The cost to Global Witness is extremely high and simply is not proportionate. The Reynolds defence doesn't work, is still very risky and yet it involves a huge amount of, of work, of letters, of translation costs and is a very unwieldy and uncertain mechanism. We need a new public interest defence with parliamentary backing which is straightforward and user friendly. What we need is a situation where people who are raising questions in the public interest are afforded some protection so that if claimants want to bring a claim against someone who has raised a legitimate public interest discussion then they have to jump over a higher hurdle than if they are dealing with something like salacious gossip. The second element is once you've passed through the gateway that has established that the discussion is in the public interest, in an, is an area of public interest, and by that we don't mean obviously salacious gossip about what footballers are doing. Having done that, some of that burden must then shift to the claimant. So for example, at the moment we have a situation where the defendant is forced to prove in every way that they have satisfied all the requirements that might be imagined about responsible journalism. That doesn't suit people talking about science or human rights or consumer affairs. Public interest reporting needs to be far better protected. It needs to be in the legislation. Citizens in this country have a right to expect good public interest reporting and that should be protected. Currently it simply isn't done properly, there isn't proper protection in place and the government needs to take action and not back away from this issue.